Hey, it's finally Foundation Friday. If you're new here on Fridays, I sit down and talk about a new or old, we don't discriminate here, foundation that I've been trying out. I do multi-day wear tests using a variety of tools, techniques, products. In today's video, I'm doing a 12 hour wear test side by side comparison between the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation and the new NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation. Recently, I shared my wear test and review of the new NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation, and in that video, I had mentioned how similar I felt that this foundation was to the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation, but I hadn't filmed that particular wear test day, so here I am now filming it again so you can see in real time just how similar they are. I do have in-depth reviews on both the NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation and the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation, so I won't go super into detail about these in this video, but I will go over some of the basics. The Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation retails for $44 and you can get one fluid ounce of product, which is pretty standard for a foundation. There are 44 shades that go from very fair to deep, and I wear the shade Too Cool, which so far has been my closest shade match. The NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation retails for $40 and you get 1.5 fluid ounces of product which is more than a standard foundation. There are 34 shades in this range that go from fair to very deep. I picked up the shade Yukon L 2.5 and the shade swatches really pink, but once I apply it to my face, it actually wears pretty okay. Here's what they look like swatched next to each other and then compared to a few other foundations. NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation in the shade Yukon L 2.5, Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation in the shade Too Cool, Rare Beauty, Foundation in the shade 160C, Becca Skin Love Foundation in the shade Ivory, and the Laura Mercier Flawless Radiance Perfecting Foundation in the shade 1C1 Shell. I will pop their full descriptions on the screen, but I really just want to highlight some of their key similarities. They're both full coverage, matte, they are meant for normal dry and combination skin, though NARS is also recommended for oily, and they both claim to be hydrating, lightweight, sweat-proof, humidity-proof, and transfer-proof. In my experience, they're also similar in wear time, their skin-like finish, and how they both do a soft blurring on pores and texture. Some differences that I notice between these foundations, besides the obvious price point and product amount, is that the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation has a really heavy scent. I don't remember it being so apparent when I've worn it in the past but I actually think that it may have gone off because it smells really heavily of pickles. But anyway, in addition to the scent, the formulas are different. The Charlotte Tilbury foundation is quite thick, whereas the NARS foundation is on the runnier side. And the textures though are similar in that they are both quite moussey feeling. The Airbrush Flawless foundation does claim to have skincare benefits, but I haven't noticed that. I haven't really noticed any skincare benefits when I've worn the foundation for prolonged periods of time. Getting into the wear test though, I applied both of these foundations around 8.45 in the morning. I used the First Aid Beauty Hydrating Primer and after letting that sink in for about 5 minutes, I applied the Airbrush Flawless Foundation mixed with a small amount of Wonder Glow Primer to the left side of my face. I used the Billion Dollar Brow Sponge to apply. The coverage is a solid medium. My scarring and spots are lightly visible, but the majority of my blemishes are covered. I do notice some gathering around my nose and try to blend it out a little, but I end up removing coverage. It does look slightly heavy on application, though in my experience with this foundation, it does take some time to really warm up. To to the skin. On the right side of my face, I apply a mix of the NARS foundation and the Wonder Glow Primer. I use my fingers to rub it into my skin since in my experience, this is the best application technique. It applies at a high, medium, low, full coverage, and though it's not gathering like the Airbrush Flawless Foundation did on the other side, I do notice the foundation isn't sticking to that spot on my nose, and attempting to apply foundation there makes it look worse instead of better. I think this looks better on application than the Airbrush Flawless Foundation does. And here is the final look for today's wear test. At the six hour check-in, the foundation looks essentially the same on both sides of my face. Despite doing some pretty heavy cleaning around the house and working up a sweat, the makeup still looks great. I feel like the gathering around my nose has gotten worse. It's more apparent. Looking straight on at my face, I feel like it looks more blurred on the right side of my face than it does on the left side. And even though they look 
almost identical. I just see a little bit more texture on the left side of my face. While I think both sides of my face look nice, I do think the NARS side looks slightly better. I think it looks more skin-like, has more of a soft blurring effect, and it isn't emphasizing my lines and under eye texture. Ultimately, these foundations are nearly identical. You don't need to have both on hand at the same time. If you have the Airbrush Flawless Foundation, finish that up, and instead of repurchasing, buy the NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation instead. If you're looking for a full coverage matte foundation, both of these are great choices. I just think that the NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation does everything the Charlotte Tilbury one does better, for cheaper, and with more product. I hope you liked this review. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. If you have any other videos you'd like to see from me or any other foundations you'd like me to check out, definitely let me know down below. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and I will catch you again soon in my next video.